I, I, I do have green fingers, man. I just live in a flat where I, I wish I could do more, man. But Bob I, I love spending time with them. Bob doesn't believe you right now. Yeah, check it in. <laughs> oh, I got the size. <laughs> oh, shame. Are you reminiscing about your birthday, boy? Hey, Listen, did you have a nice party? The thing is, when, you, when you're Bob, right? When you're Bob, you do things in the most exquisite style yeah. possible. Bob is celebrating his birthday today, but he had like a huge mbi. When I say mbi, like party. It was party, a do, man. It was do. a do. Yeah, he had yeah. all his human friends there. Some of fans of his. Friends. Yeah. And, and they did it in five star luxury, as only you can at the Twelve Apostles Hotel and Spa. Mm. He even got the producers to send the cameras there so that we could check out, because you know, we didn't get invites. And the only We're way we could actually see actually. what it's was happening hey, is by setting our cameras. So take a look, Bob. <laughs> Bob, the espresso Frenchie, made his first appearance on our television screens in 2012. He is, without a doubt, one of SA's best loved pets. I can't even imagine that it's been three years. It's been such a great experience. You know what? Bob really brings such a cool, positive, relaxed vibe to the set, and he brings a lot of laughs, a lot of comedy as well. I mean, you can just imagine those moments where, you know, you're sitting in an interview situation, and then the next minute it's Bob on the couches, behind the couches, pushing pillows, playing with Bella. Um, he's such a, I, th I think he's such a positive influence, and he brings a, a brand new dynamic to, to the morning show. It's a very special day for us. Bob has been with the family for now three years at Expresso. Every morning, Bob and Bella arrive early in the morning, puts a smile on um, their faces, and really just brings that um, presence of happiness to the Expresso studio every morning. On Sunday, Bob celebrated his birthday at the 12 Apostles Hotel and Spa with Bella and their proud owner and Expresso's executive producer, Bradley van den Berg. From having no dogs to now having two, life is like almost having two children. You can never leave them alone. They're so dependent on us and they're so used to being around people that when they're alone, they make sure you know that they have been kept alone. So Bella is definitely the alpha in the relationship. She has to eat first, she has to walk first, uh, everything first, and then Bob can kind of go second. And it's quite interesting just to see how their characters are played. But um, at the end of the day, they love each other and they're always looking out for each other and that's a good thing. A few lucky young Frenchy friends and Expresso viewers were invited to the pet party of the year. We had to send in a card, a birthday card for Bob, which we did. We got them to colour in and um, cut out and paste. And then we sent the card, we uh, sent it into Expresso Frenchies and my kids were congratulated, yes, they were one of the winners, or the winners actually should I say. If every human here equals seven doggy years, then Bob is now officially of age. We're going to be expecting quite a bit from Bob now that he's 21. He's quite keen to join a band and he's been getting some drumming lessons, so we're going to see where that goes. We may have Bob doing some of the morning performances with Kat and Ilana. Congratulations, Bob. Here's to many more feel-good moments. Friends, keep up with our four-legged friend on the Expresso Frenchies Facebook page. Out of Bobster! Hey, that's how you roll. <laughs> I actually do need a drummer for my band, so... I know, uh, and Bob, he's too shy to ask. We, we're holding auditions in a couple of weeks, Bob. I hope you're ready. Are you okay? <laughs> They'll put you to, to the test, my boy. Well, cheer All up, right. Bob. You know what? We've got a very special surprise for Bob. We've actually organised with uh, our friends from the Twelve Apostles to design and make a cake especially for his birthday. So we bring it in. Dun, dun, dun! Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Bob! Happy birthday, birthday to you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's we all We got you, um, boy. executive chef Chris Du as well as Nathan, uh, our press to sous chef at the Twelve Apostles, to grace us with their presence. And thank you very much Guys, for that cake. Thank you. Well, it looks absolutely amazing. That so, does look delicious. Can humans eat this cake? Yes, humans and animals can eat the cake. Fantastic. So oh, what's, what's in it though? I want to know that, dude. Um, in the sponge cake itself, it's uh, peanut butter, um, Ooh, grated apples, <laughs> um, and some just wheat flour, which are all healthy ingredients for a dog, which has the uh, necessary nutrients to kind of help them. Uh, how often do you get requests to make food that both dogs and humans can, <laughs> can eat? <laughs> we, have, we have a dog menu and a cat menu at the hotel, because wow. we're pet friendly. So we do get it quite a lot. Not a lot, but we do get it now and again. We and get that, people oh, coming. Bella's it's like, bells yeah. Are <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah hell yeah. five-star food. Oh, um, so guys, we have a little bit of a present. Bella's reminding me. She's like, the chicken, the chicken, the chicken. <laughs> Bobus, I got yourself a little present here. I know that you chew through your rubber chicken so much. 
This is for you and from Bella as well. Hey, love? It is. <laughs> Just don't let Bella hear you squeeze it. Oh. <laughs> Just don't let, let it hear. You, the, the, the design of the cake, the look and feel, what, what inspired that for you? Well, we just kind of decided to go with, you know, dogs like bones. Yeah. So we kind of did the bone shape. Uh -huh. And um, and we kind of did some extensive research on what dogs like to eat. And, uh, and what's so good for dogs? Like yeah. the frosting is made out of low-fat cream cheese, bananas, wow. um, no sugar, a little bit of honey. And, you know, with yogurt, yogurt's really good for dogs' digestive system with the calcium. So yeah. you can even make little treats like freeze some yogurt cubes and give it to your dog as a little treat as well. Oh, cool. This is new amazing. Things. I see you guys have learned a lot through <laughs> exactly. the process, man. Exactly. Wow. Very cool, so so man. What, what, are, what are your birthday wishes to our boy? I mean, he's turning 21. It's quite a significant age, in dog years at least. So, yeah, well, 21, yeah, that's a big step for in his life. <laughs> <laughs> but he must come and visit us again. Pretty soon he must come for his 40th at the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it'll only be in a few years. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you very much to our friends at the 12 Apostles for this very special Pleasure. cake. And, of course, for hosting the party as well. It was yeah, a, you guys I heard it was so rad. Job. Did you guys manage to clean up afterwards? Is it okay? No, we, we, yeah. it's all fun. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Happy birthday, Bob. Send him your birthday wishes at Expresso Puppies. Uh, on Twitter and on Facebook as well. And uh, right now I know that Leanne is also very disappointed that we didn't get invites to the party. I mean, I Leanne, know. you always crack the invites. What happened? Mm.